Now I would like to show you how to solve this challenge. First of all, you need to get the delete endpoint. The path should be post slash and the colon it. Here we need to register the request handler. Let me wrap my pseudocode inside the request handler. Here I'm going to use some utility library, the external utility library, which is Lodash. There are many ways to remove the object from the array, but I like the Lodash way. Let me open the terminal. I'm going to use npm install minus minus save Lodash. Hey npm, please install the Lodash package. The Lodash package has installed successfully. Here I'm going to import the Lodash. Lodash. Lodash has a remove method. I can use this remove method to remove the item from the array. Context.body. It will give me the removed item and Lodash.remove. Here we need to provide the array, the post array, and it will take the callback method. I'm going to use arrow function here. I would like to delete the item by ID. Basically, I would like to delete the post by ID. So I'm, here I'm going to use triple equal. How can you get the ID from the request params? You can use context.params.id. That's it. Let me remove the comments. Everything looks good. I'm going to run the application. Let me send the request from the postman. First of all, I want to find all the post. Here we have three posts. I want to delete the post with ID number two. So here I will provide the ID two. Here you can, oops, that's a problem. Okay, what is wrong? Oops, CXT. This is my fault. Where did I, oops, context.party. Let me send the request again. Now you can see that it has deleted the sales developer. Incredible sales developer is no longer exist in the post array.